Change these settings now to boost FPS and lower input delay in any game. I'm going to be showing you guys some useful settings or tweaks that you can use to boost FPS, performance, and lower the input delay. So hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best for the program. optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description. And play your game with lower ping. So first go to my website, I give link in description, and download the FPS Boost Pack from here. There are actually a bunch of settings which you have to play for your CPU guys. in order to work the best in Fortnite possible. And this is exactly what we're going to utilize. And in the first place I want guys, you to click on the main and go under Active Power Profile and make sure that the Bitsum Highest Performance one is actually loaded for most of you guys. The Bitsum Highest Performance one is gonna be the best option. Only on maybe like a low-end laptop, you kinda should maybe try out a different one. But as mentioned, for most of you really select the Bitsum one. There are only a few instances where the Bitsum Highest Performance one is actually not the if best one. If your PC one. is maybe overheating on the lower-end laptop once we're done with we're that, we're gonna click on the options. Go into General and in the first place now we wanna guys, see you know Refresh Interval GUI. This one one you're going to put to 5 seconds and then straight up under it you have refresh interval governor and this one you're going to put to 5 seconds as the next well. up guys under options we're going to select power and in. you know we have performance mode are we going to make sure that change power profile when engaged is enabled enable automatic detection and steam. and also disabled idle server what performance mode is engaged all of these here should be enabled and once we're now done with you that, actually have to run fortnite in the background and also realistic scenario where you have all the applications running in the background which you use on a day to day base so discord may be spotify and all of them so guys i know i have actually fortnite running in the background so that i'm going to press f until I can find it. And it should be exactly here. And now guys, once Fortnite is actually running in we the We should be able to find it in here in this list. The Fortnite clan wins the 60 for shipping extra. Going to right click on Go into CPU pair. Then we're gonna go under always and make sure. Set to high for most of you guys. High is gonna be the best possible option again. If you're maybe on a law and laptop. Or you experience a lot of stutter with this Enabled one go again to normal. Have to try it out for yourself Put it guys. to high hop in game real quick. And check if you feel a difference. The next step guys. We can also find your I and O priority. Then go again under always. And make sure to put it to high as well. And once we go a little bit more we can down, find guys. you know induced performance mode. And we're going to click onto it. And click on the yes. And now guys the most important part Under here. affinity is actually to go under always. And then we can see disable hyper fretting. And what this basically does, if you disable hyper fretting or SMT, is that you disable all of the virtual course of your CPU. Basically, forcing your system to use all of the logical ones. So, I'm gonna do this and right now. And then you can see guys, that only all of my logical cores are utilized. For Fortnite right now, all of the virtual ones of my eye, 9 are completely shut off. And this can give so many people, such a huge FPS increase again. You have to try it out for yourself guys. For me personally, it actually worked better on my Ryzen 7 build. By the if way, if you feel like none of these actually help you out, guys you can again go under Nong, and it's going to revert all of these steps. And here. as the next step I'm gonna guys, recommend you the G Booster, which you can trade for apps absolutely With the free. link in description, just to make sure that you launch the tool, and select Fortnite, and it's gonna automatically find for you, the best DNS server in your near, for the least amount of latency. As you can see, I only get 11 milliseconds latency, which is giving me already. a huge improvement of over 100%. I've been using this for any game which I'm playing here right now on my PC. And the best part about it is it's also searching actively in the background while you're actually playing for the best DNS service. It's consistently also showing you the connection between your PC and the router and the router and the actual game server. So therefore as mentioned make sure you check with it the out. link in description and following guys we're gonna need MSI utility version 3 and then you're gonna right click onto and it. run as administrator once the tools open up. You can see exactly all these specs of your PC and what we care about guys is our GPU. So what I'm gonna do is search up for my current then GPU. Then on the right side, you should see line based and MSI. And for literally any GPO from the last decade, it should say MSI in here. And one is super important, guys. It's not the brand, it's actually a communication way between your GPU and your CPU. So therefore, under MSI, you always wanna make sure that this one here is checked. And then under interrupt parity. Actually, a lot of people say that you should put it on high. But actually, putting it on normal works a lot better. For most GPUs guys, there are a few specific ones where high actually works better. So definitely gonna make sure that you in select here normal. and then you're gonna click on the apply and you're already good to go. And you can close this tool and it doesn't have to be even running on your PC. This is a one-time tweet and after playing all of these steps you guys, should immediately notice that your performance is so much better in Fortnite. As mentioned, some of these steps might help you more or less. Really all comes down to what your PC configuration actually is. As of right now, but if you need any more support, always feel free to comment down below. Actually, also, comment your PC specs so that I can see which kind of my PCs. community actually has. And if you need some more additional support, always feel free to join the Discord as mentioned as well in the description and below. And if that's it, also don't forget to check out the two which videos which are right near on screen.